How does one interpret the hidden sexual symbolism in a Renaissance painting without blushing? Renaissance paintings are known for their intricate details and rich symbolism. However, many of these works contain hidden sexual symbols that can be difficult to interpret without blushing or feeling uncomfortable. Here are some tips on how to interpret the hidden sexual symbolism in Renaissance paintings. Understand the context. To interpret the hidden sexual symbolism in a Renaissance painting, it is important to understand the context in which the work was created. During the Renaissance, the human body was celebrated and depicted in art as a symbol of beauty and perfection. Sexual imagery was also commonly used in art to represent fertility, purity, and other abstract concepts. By understanding the cultural and historical context of the painting, you can better interpret its hidden sexual symbolism without feeling embarrassed. Look for symbolic imagery. Many Renaissance paintings contain symbolic imagery that can be interpreted as sexual. For example, the lily was often used as a symbol of purity and virginity, but it could also be interpreted as a phallic symbol. Similarly, a serpent could represent temptation and sin, but it could also be seen as a symbol of male sexual potency. By looking for these symbolic images and interpreting them in the context of the painting, you can gain a deeper understanding of its hidden sexual symbolism. Understand the use of color. Color was an important element in Renaissance art and could also be used to convey sexual symbolism. Red, for example, was often used to represent passion and desire, while white could represent purity and innocence. By understanding the use of color in the painting, you can interpret its hidden sexual symbolism without feeling uncomfortable. Consider the artist's intent. The artist's intent is also an important factor in interpreting the hidden sexual symbolism in a Renaissance painting. Some artists used sexual imagery as a way to challenge the prevailing moral and religious norms of their time, while others may have used it purely for aesthetic purposes. By understanding the artist's intent, you can gain a deeper appreciation for the painting and its hidden sexual symbolism. Keep an open mind. Interpreting hidden sexual symbolism in Renaissance paintings can be challenging, but it is important to keep an open mind and approach the work with curiosity and appreciation. It is easy to feel uncomfortable or embarrassed when confronted with sexual imagery, but by approaching the painting with an open mind, you can gain a deeper understanding of its hidden meanings and appreciate its beauty in a new way. Conclusion Interpreting hidden sexual symbolism in Renaissance paintings can be a challenging but rewarding experience. By understanding the context, looking for symbolic imagery, understanding the use of color, considering the artist's intent, and keeping an open mind, you can interpret the hidden sexual symbolism in these works without feeling embarrassed or uncomfortable. Ultimately, interpreting hidden sexual symbolism in Renaissance paintings can deepen your appreciation for these works of art and provide a greater understanding of the cultural and historical context in which they were created.